So today we're we'll arranging the best and the worst tools for web hacking. So, starting with Nmap. Nmap is just an absolute OG. It's a classic for finding open ports and services. And for people saying it's too slow, you can easily customize this tool to be almost as, almost as fast as Roscan. Ether. Sublister. It's a fine tool, not very impressive. There's many better tools for subdomain enumeration out there like Subfinder, and there's tools specifically out there to parse subdomains from sources like GitHub, leading to more unique subdomains being found. But it's an all, it's an all right tool. Be there. Next up, FAP. There's a few wearers out there that actually swears by this tool, but let's be real, no one actually wants to use this. I know it has some useful functionalities and all of that, but haters gonna hate? Have there. Next up, Nuclei. This is just the powerhouse of the tool. It's an incredible vulner vulnerability scanner and it's incredible for recon. It is widely used and widely respected. It's extremely customizable and it has a ton of different use cases. Easily Esther. Next up, Durbuster. It's just a fucking joke. Why would anyone in their right mind use this tool? There are Greek gods out there in terms of tools like FAUF and Ferox Buster, which is incredibly speedy, yet it also has recursion built in. Plus, it doesn't look like it's a ran over cat. Because let's be real, Durbuster is beyond slow and it looks like a tool built by a blind UX designer. Ether. Next up, WhatWeb. This is another alternative for web fingerprinting. It's an honestly a great tool for web fingerprinting, similar like uh, similar to what Rapalizer. I use both personally for just some quick technology stack fingerprinting. It's a good tool. Hey there. Next up, Verb Suite. Verb Suite is just an amazing tool. It's really difficult to do actual impressive web hacking without it. I know some people prefer Kaido, which is completely fine. Both are excellent tools, but yeah. Verb Suite is a great tool, simple as there. Next up, Necto. Necto is a bit of an age tool, honestly. Just use something like Nuclei. Be an actual normal human being instead, instead of using this tool. Deter. Next up, Param Spider. It's just a beautiful tool to passively collect a bunch of potentially injectable parameters using completely passive recon. More injection points for payloads and network traffic reaching your target. I mean, what's not to love? Esther. Wapalizer. Simple handy tool for web fingerprinting, similar to WhatWeb. Just a good tool. One click, web extension, boom, fingerprinting, happy. It's not perfect, but it will collect a lot of things that just saves you time. Next up, SQL Map. SQL Map is just an amazing tool. It's a great tool to do all sorts of SQL injection. It has a ton of functionality for extracting database credentials, information, whether it's blind, out of band, whether there's a WAF there, it has some WAF detection, obfuscation payloads as well. It's just a great tool for the specific use case, which is SQL injection. Esther. So if you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you want to learn everything hacking related and you want my honest tools from all of the tools out there for actual hacking, we have several courses out there from beginner to advanced and we have a ton of cheat sheets and we have a community that is absolutely just learning about hacking all day every day and I think it will be very, very fun. So don't forget to check out the link in the description and thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice one. Take care.